Hey, Unshelled fans, it is I, Mag Synchro, with Convertible Turtle Unshelled, our mature audience channel. And we are going to be playing some Mary's Room today. Uh, this game, um, well, I thought we were going to play Mary's Room, but we went ahead and told to apply a setting, and all of a sudden it just decided, no, Mag, you don't get to play. Took away all of our controls. What? What the? All right, let's try this again. Once more, with feeling Turtle Club, we're going to go ahead and reopen the program. And hopefully, it'll get there. Hey, Slacky Moo. How's it going? Now, one of the real cool things about this game when I first loaded up, and all I did was change one level setting. I noticed the music, and I noticed this little piece right here. Short game. One session. No save games. That's, uh, that's pretty impressive. I mean, this day and age, for a game to say, well, we don't think it's going to be a long experience. We think it's going to be a short experience for you. And so, no no way to save. So we're going to get, uh, you know, get into this real quick. It's supposed to be kind of in the same vein as Life is Strange. And so I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to that. happened even in here so where is the journal okay so this is supposed to be again kind of in the same vein so as as life is strange uh, I've heard some people relate this to that dragon the cancer there, that's the black room. what is life is strange life is strange is a slice of life game you play as a teenager who has the ability to control time but they're dealing with regular high school crap so you know that kind of you know kind of plays into some stuff there all right so one of the rooms we went into we couldn't do anything with i hold the zoom okay so is right click a zoom thing always hey it is that's cool 2018 science fair so this is a fairly recent game i mean 2018 is in the picture frame local wine guide weather forecast interesting looks like one of those magic mirrors that people have set up sometimes no that's her parents room so this is mary's room clearly part of the the game tells us that we're supposed to be going in there all right, so moving is last format, uh, no run. This is supposed to be kind of a real chilled, laid-back game. Look, Mr. Torres, I'm happy he finally got me married. The honeymoon in the Bahamas. Interesting. Wish I was there with them. All right. Is that you? Oh my God, the hair. What was I thinking? So anything that's got a little circle on it, from what I'm gathering, or actually not just a circle. All right. Those bright diamonds. Hmm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. All right. So with this room we can't open. That room we can't open. So we definitely have to do what the the game says. Oh, oh. There's actually a crouch button. Okay. This changes things a little bit because there is the possibility that there may be some stuff underneath behind stuff all right so now we're gonna go into the room no entry the future welcome back Kelsey is the achievement I just received okay so we can open the door can't close it there's nothing behind it growth chart uh, there's something down here a uh, cat little toy okay call foul on that a little bit if that was a true little cat toy it would be covered in fur but hey game developers aren't perfect let's 
that's a reflection without me in it. That's 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 what I've come to know and love from lower budget games. You know, we were looking at Life is Strange the other day and everything inside that game. We were able to see ourselves in reflection. It was creepy. Um, not unexpected with a game as, you know, high dollar as what, you know, Square Enix can put out. But, alright, so, that's her diary. Of course they knew it was her. Who else? Huh, neat. Postcard. Curtains. I like how the electrical outlets are like where they're supposed to be. She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? Vancouver, freezing my ass off in that tin can of a car. Wow. So from like California all the way up to Canada, that's that's a pretty drive. So I can't like there's no way for me to look on the top of the shelf. It's a light, but I can't turn it on. And of course, I know the guide of the game. The, the way it's drawing me, it's trying to force me to look at that journal because the whole game's like I'm coming in here for the journal. So, I know that if this is a trippy game, which is supposed to be kind of a surreal game at times, um, then grabbing this journal... Oh wait, did I just softlock myself? No, but I apparently float above the ground. I don't even have feet. What the hell? I have no feet. I have no reflection. I'm like disembodied. Alright, so let's... Let's, uh, I'm pretty sure we've explored every little possible thing that can draw my attention to stuff. And see so the pause menu is like continue settings, standard, standard pause stuff. Okay. So that's all right. And yeah, continue. All right. So let's go ahead and read this fantastic journal then. forgive you for what you did honestly I don't know I'm trying hmm. really hard but I don't know how because I don't understand any of it you are my friend I loved you unconditionally I did what I did because of you and I stood up to him because of you but you I, I know you right now I can really mean you so I don't want you to come find me I promise I'll be alright soon Whoa. She wouldn't be. She okay. Wouldn't be um. So here we got we got weirdness, guys. This is the room we were just in, and life has became different. She once asked me, "Don't you ever dream, Kelsey?" And I said, "I don't. I don't dream." What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Okay. Well, here's the hoping that the... Yeah, it's definitely an unusual game. Beer bottle. Uh, that's not good. Loved that beer. After the robbery, we only had a couple left. Apparently they were hard to come by. Still, they decided to try a bottle once. I loved that label. She threw it in her journal. I remember that. All that happened later that night. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely is. And you're in Kelsey's backpack. But cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. Vicious taste of these meatballs still beats the humiliation of being served by Marie. 
Interesting. So, I guess Marie ran the food kitchen or something? It never feels an orange so juicy. The drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun. The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had life. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. Shopping bags. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. By Kelma, interesting. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Well, I was sparkly losing shoes. my glamour status at school right there. Huh. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be, until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes. Oh, uh, huh. Interesting. Oh, cool. I can hear the clock ticking. So there's got to be a clock in here somewhere. All right. So that, that. All right. Swimsuit, I think, was another thing that we saw. I loved skinny dipping. But Marie insisted on wearing this one. And again, guys, this is on Unshelled. This is mature content. No one would ever come close to the freak. And he wasn't there, just to be clear. But someone else was. The freak. Okay. Things are getting a little bit on the serious side. Oh, we can't read the words? Wait, can I... Ah, take up menu. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. Jorge's tamales. Tamales are good Jorge stuff. Puts them aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Wow. Okay. So alcoholic family. Skinny dipping. Beer. Oh, keys. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so I'd feel at home. I loved him for it, but every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Interesting. So let's check this out. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. I'm not a shadow person. Okay. Good morning, Keo. So, alcohol, creepy room, teleporting, time travel, shadow people. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and... I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards had been dealt. Any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie, she got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Huh. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I love it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swear Ooh. I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. That's unfortunate, having to go through the trash. Pizza Marie boxes. insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. Okay. Happy birthday. Meow, it's time to party. Ah, that's a cool little birthday card. Well, the four person obviously has some... Yeah, exactly. Exactly, it's like move. It doesn't, doesn't seem to be a happy you story. You see? You bought me things. I was going to wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Well, now, money is coming from places that we don't want it to come from. Alrighty. So, swimsuit, money. Oh, a phone. That's Trevor's phone number. I called her. Emily blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. 
Oh, wow. Color ID on the phone. Okay, I'm going to have to find that ticking clock eventually, guys. But I want to point out that there's a digital clock here, and those typically don't tick. I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Puzzles! Ah! Okay. All right. Now we're going. Okay. We, we got to figure... We got to figure something, huh? So there's got to be something special in there, possibly. All right. There's money in jars. Wait, what? Oh, it's a budget system. All right, so... She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack... She made me put the money in that money jar. One day That's cool. Would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only used money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. So concerts, the world, vinyl, a uh, stone. Okay, rock. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me remind me huh wow this is there's some heavy stuff here guys mr torres and marie were robbed in their own house not long after we met at food rescue holy shit he was stabbed almost died she was knocked out with a baseball bat she was in the hospital for a while stitches concussion she still had headaches she said Okay. There's the clock. The rock clock, guys. It's a record with a little clock on it. And... If I'm looking at the clock right, it's like 7-12? 7-13? Oh, wow. The two, the two clocks are in sync. That's... that's that's pretty spiff. All right, so the game's actually keeping track of the time inside the room. All right. We're still looking for some kind of secret code, though. A world map. Here we go. We always dreamed about going to Europe. I don't think she ever went. Well, it's not a uh, continent-based code, so don't worry about that then. Open notebook, hey! La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled Ooh. wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she QR knows. code. She never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. So, handy dandy smartphone, guys. Um, checking out the... Oh! It's a thank you! For the... Uh, huh. That's nifty. The developers. Don't know if you guys can see that or not because of my camera. But that's what it brings up is the Steam page. Saying thank you for playing Marie's Room. Oh, it's it's lit up now. You know, it's not. That's kind of cool. Uh, even, even though the game's a little weird, uh, this is a real good showing off of what a Exploration engine this could be. Oh, another drawer. Marie, Marie's mom, died when she was five. My mother, she might as well have been dead. She looked more dead than alive, anyhow. Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Gin. Interesting choice of drink. Okay. So, laptop. Hey, Keo! Thank you for the donation to Unshield, sir. Library laptop. I 
don't know why it says library on the post-it note. But really appreciate that. All right. Lots of stuff going on here. Now, what's cool about this game, guys, is it's actually free on Steam. I Kelsey's I was phone. So lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. And there's that ominous, no idea where the money coming from. Ah, uh, that is, uh, that, drugs maybe? Maybe he's a thief? I mean, you know, the, this thing over here that had the, well, over here, the, the break-in information. He could be a thief. Oh, Rubik's Cube. Hated that thing. Aw. It would have been really awesome to be able to play with the Rubik's Cube. Happy oh. Man. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Oh, shit. Steve told me to leave Digrat a dollar. <laughs> he awaits a return. Oh, okay. I, I will I will let Digrat know, guys. We are we're still working on that as a as a goal. It's just a matter of getting everything lined up. Sheet of paper. That's Maria's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy for her pizza and movie party. Pizza oh, and movie party. Jealous. Huh. Alright. Still not found a code yet though. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Think like a proton, stay positive. Three, oh, wow. A lot of brainy stuff here, guys. Stephen Hawking, Einstein, time travel stuff. Hmm, soda, antimatter, all sorts of cool shit on this desk. All right. Science project. Oh, yeah. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it. I chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. So the character we're portraying, uh, well, this is all time travel. And, oh, you probably missed the beginning, Keo. We stepped into this room and it was empty. It had none of this in here. Most of the stuff was packed up in boxes. Um, and we looked at the journal, and then the whole entire room changed. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was oh. suffering when he was in intensive care. Wow. Nasty knife wound. Look at that, guys. Amazon creeping up right into the video game. Doesn't, you can't read the word Amazon on it, but we all know what that little smile means. Jeff Bezos is just killing it with that kind of product. Super awesome product placement. It just seems like, you know, I, I was a kid at one point, and I'm presuming this intellectual stuff does not suit her. Um, the character we're playing as, I don't disagree. But we're not in our we're not in our room. We're in Marie's room, so I'm I'm presuming that Marie was a bit of a science girl. All right. So so far, I'm I'm pretty sure we looked at everything except for the journal again. Oh. No, we hadn't. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. I never told well. her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the ring. Wow. Okay. 
So I'm beginning to really not like Trevor at all. I've never met the guy. And, you know, I, the, try not to judge until you can make a real honest bet. He ain't making it easy, y'all. He ain't making it easy. All right, let's go check this laptop. Okay. Damn, what's the password again? I need to find it. Oh, shadow person. Hey. All right. Words of secrecy. We just got an achievement for that one. And we have internet access, 33% charged. So it's Saturday, July 7th, 7.30. Okay, guys. Now, this I got to take a little bit of umbrage with, right? So props to the game company for making it 7.13 throughout the whole entire room. Computer says it's 7.13. The alarm clock says it's 7.13. Wall clock says it's 7.13-ish, right? I keep hearing a ticking noise in my ears. It means time should be passing. It would have been kind of neat if time was passing. But, uh, you know, you can't make everything perfect. Um, ha! Little cat gif. All right, so is there anything? So even a sciencey kind of background. I mean, this is all like Big Bang quasi stuff there. That's that's an exit. So here's an internet browser. One day, I just had to know what's up with all the cats. She said she admired them, that they were who they were without any pretense, that they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. So all these little cool pictures. My pet hey, is missing. Bumblebee. That's her cat. Wow. Lady cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Whoa, and... That, that makes the date important now, guys. July 7th, missing since June the 23rd. So we're here two weeks after this cat went missing. Oh, wow. Okay. Marie, what were you thinking? You know that's illegal. Holy shit, guys. Okay, there, there's definitely... Um... All right. So we go from cats to missing cat to to buy a gun to home protection shoot somebody. Okay. Does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act for Christ's sake. If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Died. So. Thank you for access Pandora's box. Uh, possibly. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Um, um, why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. You never should have gone to the Orange Grove. So, like, stalking people. Alrighty. Um... Well, now, so I still haven't found a code. She wouldn't stop about time travel and black holes and stuff. I just wanted to do something simple. Calculate shit. Boring is what she said. Her, the weird kid, ducked boring. So yeah, we settled on antimatter. Because who wants po to be boring? Possible. Possible, Slacky Moo. I mean, you know, depression takes on lots of different forms. Wait, there was something I could look at. What was I able to look at? Oh, that's the, bis oh, that's the basket through the wood. And, you know, and you can never tell just by looking at somebody. You know, um, I, I was brought up to never presume somebody's life. 
just by looking at them or talking to them. I've always been, I've always been a real kind of, I don't want to say approachable because I'm, I'm a big dude with, you know, burly face hair and all that kind of stuff. But I usually try to be pleasant and friendly toward other people. And part of that is because sometimes people just need a friendly presence in their life. I had a guy, real cool guy named, named Pitt. Probably had some issues because his name was Pitt. I mean, you know, if, if you're a winged angel person on Nintendo, being called Pitt's not a big deal because you're a video game character. But being a human being, that's, you know, that's a hole. That's something that you throw things into, you know. So take that for what you will. It's, you know, it's, it's the piece of a fruit that you toss away. But the guy was cool. I mean, he was very popular. Um, the little bit of interaction I had with him was always positive, mostly. Guys he hung out with, girls he hung out with, not so much. But he, uh, he had some darkness in him, and he unfortunately ended himself. And I'm, I'm, I think you might be onto something, Slacky. That, that could be. Sure whoa, is. wait a second. What an asshole. Ripped After shirt. Broke up, he got violent sometimes. Oh one shit. Day he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Oh wow. Okay. Well, uh, Trevor's the violent kind. So maybe not. All right. So we 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 have a a journal. So I guess we're gonna read the journal. Wow. We so we have lots of stuff here. Um, Wow, okay, so someone stole food out of her backpack, and so she helped start, or she joined the food rescue. And here's where we come in, where we are Kelsey, I'm presuming. So how do I... All right. Oh, oh there we go. So we, we flip it through the top right-hand corner pages. All right. Slacky, you, you might be right. This is pretty crazy stuff. Well, now, okay, so that's about the burglar. I love cats because they're not afraid to be difficult. Ain't that the truth? Oh, dear God. Mom was born January. Okay. So, holy shit, guys. So, timeline, right? Wow. All right. So, like... Joins the, 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 the shelter... Been and still kind of in there, so I tend to pick up on that stuff. Well, that's I'm sorry to hear that, Slacky. I really am. Um, it's life's not easy. I, I uh, I've known a lot of people that have been through that, and if not, I'm uh, often reminded of many people that I've met. 
but as far as that kind of stuff goes, I I'm often reminded of uh, Mel Blanc as Bugs Bunny. And he's always stated, don't take life too seriously, because none of us ever make it out alive. And I know it's weird, right? When we're talking about this tragedy here. But you, you never know. You never know how life's going to throw things to you. So, man... So her mom's alive here, but her mom died. Okay, so this is where she's picking up on Trevor being a creep, possibly. All right, Auditorium Four, La La Land, two fourteen eighteen. Maybe that's the code two one four one eight, because that's definitely something that she's. Oh, I got like previous and next buttons here too. Neat. Okay. That's rough. So, Trevor's a big asshole and violent and got in between her and her friend. She knows she was wrong. Broke my window with that damn rock. Oh, wow. So, the rock that she kept was one that I, Kelsey, threw. Wow. So, definitely isn't easy. Just gotten out of your hellhole after 17 years. Certainly hope things get better for you, Slacky. Well, you know, things things can always get better, guys. That's that's the way I look at it. Life, life can always change. Hey, Chadley, how's it going? Playing a slightly depressing game today. I don't even know if you'd call it a game as it is an interactive narrative. Reminds me of Life is Strange. Um, sort of like Stanley Parable also. But yeah, Life... Life, uh... Life can kind of hit you hard sometimes, but it will get better. It will get better. Wow. Oh, <laughs> the fucking swear jar. I'm not a shadow person anymore. She's my friend. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, chronology, family friendly. Um, that's a good question. I, I streamed it on the main channel. I didn't see any problems with it. It, uh... It was it was kind of dystopian because it was you know back and forth time travel, but usually my my criteria for family friendly right is no swear words, no sex, no alcohol and drugs, and no human on human violence. Um, oh, well that's that I'm I'm glad to hear that Slacky. I uh, I don't set out every day to do that, but I'm, I'm glad to hear people say that. You know I I try just to be me. And hope it all works out for the best. Oh, wow. No, okay. Deal again, not drugs. So, drugs definitely seems to be the, the, the shit here. Wow, okay. Oh, wow. Trevor's definitely an asshole. Wait a second. Wait a second. There's stamps in these pages. 
All right, hold up. Hold the phone, guys. Three, four, nine, five. Three, four, nine, five. We might have the secret code now. Wait, it's five digits. So three, four, five. Wait, three, four, nine, five. All right. Wow. 3495. Thank you for writing that down for me, Slacky. One. So look at the last digits. One. Okay. Shit. There was a murder there. Alright. She bought the gun. Oh, wow. With full on Voldemort, and there's an. Okay. So, 34591. Alright, so. Alright, so let's. let's um... I need to find the key. A five figure number. Favorite quote is Life is like a math equation. In order to get the most, you have to know how to convert negatives into positives. That's, that's, yeah. I like that. Yay. Good work, Kelsey. Oh, my God. Well, there's a gun. The past, like the future, is indefinite and exists only as a spectrum of possibility. So we... Stephen Hawking said that. I wish it were true. But there was nothing I could do about the past. It was definite as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. Okay. She just wanted to have a good time. And she was ruining it. So I said some things I shouldn't have. She just oh, wow. stood there staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. Oh, shit. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always make sure of that. Oh, shit. But he took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. Oh, shit. Maybe Trevor had to peel it. And he followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me. But still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Okay, Marie what? Went for it, but uh, Trevor was faster. He kicked oh. my head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another oh, baseball wow. bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me, added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologize, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told oh, her it was shit. me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. Tears streamed down Marie's face. Wow. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. 
God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And so we got was her and the boyfriend. Oh, but fuck. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Mary's head. Uh, yeah. Alex, I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I wow. tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that 9 millimeter at her. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... What do you think wow. I remember is not necessarily what really happened. Or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet. Dead. That we all remember. Well, um... Shit, that's... Well... Whoa, okay. Mom, where are you? Did you get the journal? I'll be down in a minute. Anne Marie is getting a little worked up here. She threatened to smoke a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that. Yeah. Time. She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking like forever. I'll be down in a minute. Bring the journal. Whoa. Okay. Um that She wouldn't talk to me on the phone, so what else could I do? Drove all the way up there to Vancouver. Losing my ass off in that tin can of a car. Okay. Um So, the first page we read is the last page. Wow. So, uh... Alright. Is there anything different in the journal? Uh, it's the same stuff. All right. Anything else? No, that's her parents' room. All right, I'm making sure we didn't miss anything in the game. Speakers. Marie's room. We're done there. We read the journal. Wow. That, that's a hell of a game, guys. I mean, it is free on Steam. Um, I really wouldn't call it... Yeah, yeah, that's the game. Um, it starts off at the very beginning telling you that there's no save file. So you kind of go into it knowing that it's supposed to be played like within half an hour to an hour. Steam Greenlight Voter, that's cool. Thank you for playing. Um, real small production team. I mean, that was the shortest credits I think I ever read. Wow. Uh, yeah, very interesting, very, um, yeah, quite the experience, y yeah, I, uh, me too, Slacky, me too, you know, um, we, we thought this was going to go one way, and it, it 
went it still went dark but it went dark in a uh, happy ending kind of way um sort of right definitely an experience definitely an experience i gotta say I'm, I'm glad we got a chance to play it definitely a game that had to be on this channel though i i um i think we all need to kind of go watch some stuff on chadley's channel after this because chadley is a family friendly streamer and yeah, we're gonna call it early. You know, sometimes these streams don't go the full hour because the game's really short, I guess. I wow, that that was a that was a hell of a game though. I don't think it could be played different ways. I mean, maybe I could have just no. You had to get the gun, and to get the gun, you had to get the full journal, and to get the full journal, you had to discover all the stuff in the room. So yeah. A very open-ended linear game, but still linear. Really well done. I like the animation style, uh, the narration style, the music. It all kind of jives. But yeah, uh, Turtle Club. I'm yeah. I'm gonna call it early. I I'm gonna have a good night. I, I'm probably gonna do some uh, light-hearted things before I go to bed because this was a little bit on the down drums, but it did have a happy ending. I mean, the the villain did not win. Um, that anti-hero who we were kind of reunited with the friend. I mean, clearly it, it shook their friendship, but it didn't ruin their friendship. Um, so yeah, you know, it has a happy ending. And I, I guess the takeaway, guys, from this is life is what we make of it, right? And anything you set your mind to you can accomplish but it may take some time we don't know how long it took these friends to get back together but there you go but yeah thank you slacky and uh keo for for coming in being our mod today chadley for coming in and hanging out with us um guys uh for the the five of you watching uh thanks for watching i'm gonna have a good night y'all have a good morning good breakfast good lunch good dinner good good you know whatever you're about to do just have a good one and thanks for watching, Unshelled fans. Take care.